Top day to you peeps. Been another vacant. We got some. I'm gonna finish this ceiling off. Behind that access panel, there's a water leak. That wall's a little bit wet right there. So we have to open that up. And then in the bathroom, of course, towel bars. Got to put them back freaking on the wall. <clears throat> Nothing major in here. Couple new blinds. That's about it. Appreciate all you guys on the happy birthdays. I really appreciate that. Um, today is Tuesday. I got up to 972 subscribers. Freaking awesome. Hey, I appreciate it. No big deal. We didn't hit a thousand over the weekend. That's fine. I don't care. So anyways, I'm, I'm still getting you guys' emails. As long as you email me with tools and subject, bap, you're in for the drawing. Cool beans. Uh, so I'm kind of under the weather a little bit, um, which is funny because I come back from Home Depot uh, Friday and I've been laid up in the house all weekend. It's just kind of a weird, I'm not really sick sick, it's just kind of that, uh, anyways. Let's get to uh, let's get to doing something today. That uh, that paint feels a little wet. Oh my gosh! Wow, who that? She is hosed, bro. That bad boy been like it for a bit. Chances are it's a shower upstairs. Nope. Right there. She's a pier. And we got no shuttle valves. So I gotta tear that out and redo that. She's I might have to put a blower on this for a couple of days. Cause it's uh that's all soaked, man. That bit of this wood's wet. Wow. Well, shut her down. Poor quality of work. You know where that's gonna go. Well, a shame. So before I can get started on this, floating that out, cause you see it's got a shadow on it, so I need to float it out as best I can. But before I get on that, I gotta come in here, take this towel bar holder out of the wall. See the painter plugged this hole. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just stupid, man. I love him though, he's a good guy. And then I gotta take the toilet paper holder off and patch that hole. Because he plugged the other hole. You can't set a freaking Molly back in the brand new drywall hole. But I'm doing drywall work anyway, so let's get it on, brah. You know, sin in your life is kind of like this little drip of water. It's not a big deal. Uh, just a little drip here and there. It's not a problem. I can live with it. But what you don't understand is that little drip can cause all kinds of problems. If you let it go long enough, it'll destroy your entire life. Just like it's destroyed this. The rot, the decay, 
that comes from just one little drip. Hey, none of us perfect. That's why we need Jesus Christ to come in and clean you all up. It ain't overnight, bro. We all come in just like that leaking pipe. You can't fix yourself, bro. If you give it all up to God, let God straighten it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Once you become a Christian, doesn't mean you're perfect. Not going to happen, bro. You let God take care of it. And he cleans that up real slow. Sometimes it's real quick. But you give it to God and let God take care of it. Because nobody can take care of it themselves. Have a good day. Good times. Well, we're going to get in there and see if we can't fix this little leak. We have to cut that pipe out. Have to overlook the blower in the background. I'm drying that ceiling out, so we're gonna cut the pipe right here. Oh man! All right, we can't get the freaking cover in there. Dag going it. Let me test some crap. Let's see if I can get it in here. That's just lazy plumbing, man. Throw it together, see that's that's so jacked up. Even this little cutter won't go around there, right? Woo, good times, bro. Good times, man. Good times. Look at that. Look at solder inside of it. You see it? That's solder inside the fitting. Wow. They just kept, I know what they did. They just kept, they kept banging that solder in there trying to get it to set. That's a joke. Well, you know where that fitting's gonna go. On the wall the same. Wow, look at the back. Look how bad that is. That's horrible. And then he got it inside. Wow. Anyways. Oh, my gosh. So, I'm going to try to cut it off right there if I can. I can get my cutter on. No, I can't get the cutter on there. I have to go on the other side of the wall. Get back in the office. This wall's all soft anyways. So, let me get this stuff out of the way. I should have not have worn my white tennis shoes today. So we'll cut it back here. Get a good bite. Get a good bite, no problem. Getting good bites, a problem. Slide that bite out. You know where that's going to go. On the wall, shame. Then we slide a new pipe in here. And we'll put us a pro press coupling on here. I think it's got a stopper in it. Let me double check. Yes. This has a stopper ring on the inside of it. It's a little finger on the inside. That keeps it from going too far. So we'll push it on there as far as we can. 
and take the new pipe, put it inside to the stops. And now we have to go over here and pip it. I had to make one because I don't have a uh, pro press for that. So <clears throat> I just soldered a uh, new fitting on there. So I don't want that out too far. Just make me a just out there a little bit. Like so blow. Oops. I should have enough room to put my 90s. So I'm just dry, dry fitting it right now. That's cool. Yep. I get just enough room. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it back here. Kind of where it's gonna be. Right about there. Ish. Probably go about another half inch. Cut off this pipe. Pull it out. It gives me a little bit more room. There we go. That's a half inch. Flip it in all the way. Put this on now. And that's pretty close. I got a little wiggle in the pipe. So we'll cut us off uh, one inch. Piece of new one inch. Little too long. About a half inch off. Well, I guess I can probably get it on there. Be nice and tight. There we go. Just like a jigsaw puzzle. Make sure everything's nice and tight. There we go. Cool. Now all I gotta do is press the shit. I'll have to take this off because I'm way too close to that plastic. But I'll take it off and I'll do. Oh, wait a minute. That's going to be a problem. Yeah. I'll take it off and I'll do this and this and then put it back together because I got to take this dope tape on there. So, let me get to work on that. Get that back together. Get the press, boy. Mm. These half inches man, are pretty easy to do. Pretty easy on the half inch.
this bad boy in this little hole. Hopefully. Hopefully, we get back in there. Looks right. Tighten that little clamp up. Go to ten, boy. Now, one thing about this is you can you can rotate this, you know, to get into odd spots. That way, your pump, your valve closer is shut. You can get one of these bathrooms. They're about a hundred bucks. I got mine on Amazon. See, I can rotate that handle around to get it out of my way. Make sure you get it on that. There we go. Like I said, these little half inches, man, are pretty, pretty easy to do. Three quarters a little tougher. Make sure your valve's closed. <laughs> big difference between <coughs> this one and one of the battery operated ones is a, I'll show you Whoa. see how it's got the little dimple there that's uh, the copper got pinched so it'll be you can see it right here too that's about the only I mean you got other things but you'll get that with this ma manual on so let's crack on the water man let's see if we can get any leaks don't see no leaks bro we're golden Woo! yeah I took it out pretty far but that's all right man we got to put a blower on this hole dry it out it's pretty wet Probably, I'll have to get a new piece of wood for this too, because that other wood is all discolored and stuff so let's let that sit overnight and we'll go from there bro so I bring you in here and show you this real quick <laughs> this is funny man so <clears throat> when I turned the water on I saw it was a little slow so I thought well let me take it off let me uh, just check the drain cap, right? Look at that. The actual insert. That's that's the fill. This is the part that's supposed to be on top of the drain. It has separated. So, ain't that something? Well, at least it's all brand new PVC, and most likely, most likely they just set that down in there. And put that topper on there screwed it because the screw that long screw goes in the center of the drain so they just put that on there screwed it down because there's no plumber's putty on that so that's the other reason why there's so much moisture back here behind this bathtub is because the drain is separated but I think I have some of those out there in the shed so I'm gonna go look real quick able to find a brand new dropper and a cap because this style here is just a screen and a flip cap so I'll take that tab out and put the new cap on it and put the tip shop on it go ahead and get this old drain stop out there we go if we can't clean that up a little bit there's not even a rubber there's not even rubber underneath that you get that nasty out of there yeah a little bit of rubber 
The only reason why I can do this is because I'm on the ground, ground level and there's a hole there, so. Now this is all Jack's hot ways. We'll make sure that that's straight up and down. And then we we'll take our new rubber and get it in there. You can see I just squeeze it between the tub and the drain. Try to get that drain as close as I can. It looks all right. Because you want to get that, be able to screw that right in. Now I take this apart. Take this off. So now I'm gonna put putty around here, and our uh, pipe dope on this, and plumber's putty around that lip. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just force it up in the hole, and then take it back out and reseal it. And the plumber's putty will take up the gap. That's why I always put putty on there. I've seen guys use silicone, but I'm not going there. Oh. Let's run some water. See what happens. Well, that fixed it. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run some hot water on it, and uh, that, and then tighten it up one more time, and I'll be done with it. Good times, man. Every once in a while, you'll get one that beats your butt, but. We'll throw all this stuff away. <clears throat> That's the other good thing about that Klein flashlight. Bad boy hang right off the tub spout. <laughs> you can hang it off your shirt too. Because it's got that little clipper jaw on it. Like that, little key. So hang it right on your shirt, man. Bah. And then you can spread it around. Awesome tool. Anyways. Let's get to clean it up, man. So the ceiling's looking pretty good. That's dry enough. I can hit it with another coat of mud real quick. You can see where I stuck my fingers in it. But that's what I do. I just set a blower up, move air across it. It's good to go. I get another coat on it real quick. So what what is really hard for you guys to see is I call it a shadow band. It's the light. I'm looking at how the light is going to be cast across that because anytime you got a flat surface with a light shining, it, it's going to show up. It's almost impossible to get rid of it. I mean, you're talking a lot, a lot, a lot of work to get rid of a ceiling repair, especially when you got textured ceiling. It's got the swirl marks. So I'm gonna let that go, uh, turn the blower back on, and probably after lunch, um, depends on the humidity. So the reason why I kept messing with this part is because this part was lower or higher than the outer edge. Um, this down here wasn't too bad. That's probably gonna show up just slightly, but what I'll do is I'll sand it real lightly, and then we'll do a texture on it. Um, the clean lady, 
Friday or not. The claim lady's going to be here tomorrow. So that's the reason why I got to hurry up and get this done. Because I took off Monday, so that kind of messed the schedule up. <laughs> Anyways, so we got us a couple of newbies. We got us, uh, <laughs> this is the drain that is separated. And they just screwed it back together. And then this is, you see that? Solder inside the pipe. Which is funny because that's not even the part that was leaking. It was leaking up here. Yeah. It was leaking from right here. So, guess where that's going? The wall of shame. We'll make a, <laughs> start another board. Anyways, cool stuff, man. Alright, I'm going to lunch. We'll come back and wrap this stuff up. I got to get some mini blinds, put the covers back on, check the filters, and... Clean up some of this mess, man. So I got the two little spots dried up. <clears throat> They're ready to be sand down. This in here looks pretty good. We'll have to uh, do a texture on it now. I don't. Uh, I, don't I don't think it's going to come out too bad. I think it'll be alright. Better than it was, that's for sure. Then we'll uh, do us up a bucket of mud. I think I got it right here. Yeah, there it is. We'll have to mix us up a little bit. Um, sorry. I don't know exactly how they did it, but it's a pretty soft texture. So I'm thinking that it was pretty wet. So what I'll do is I go get me a little bucket. Yeah, give me a little bucket and I'll mix up some of that um, all purpose mud. <laughs> mix it up in some water and I'll spread it across there real thin with a, my wide trowel. And then I'll use a little broom and do a swish on it because with the more water in it it will cause it to when it dries it'll suck it up and it'll go it'll be real soft texture so let's give that a shot and see how it works out all right so what i did was i just took the mud out of there put it in a five gallon bucket there's not very much it's only about about two and a half inches of mud down in there you know, out of the bucket. And then I just add water and kept moving it, mixing it until I got a little soupy. Not too bad. But now comes the fun part of putting it on the ceiling. <laughs> God's your father, man. Okay, so I've got the texture on there. It's really hard for you guys to see this. Um, you can kind of see the reflection off the light, kind of, but it's got swirl. Now right now it's really, really dominant, but that's the whole trick to putting the water in it. Um, as that dries, it will soften up and tomorrow we slap a coat of ceiling paint on it, man. It, it'll, <laughs> right now it looks funny. Let's go back up here. Yeah. It's really hard. You can see it, like this area right here. Let me pan over. It will, it will, uh, it'll blend in pretty good. I think so. Got a couple smooth spots, but I'm gonna let it go. Pat. Let's get it on. Let's get the rest of the stuff done. 
just to give you a little bit of an update, it's a uh, it's only been about an hour. It's kind of really hard to tell what's going on up here, but <coughs> some of it's dry, some of it's still wet. But you can see how the the texture's going to blend right in. So, like I said, it's really hard to see through the camera. That there's a good area, but. You just gotta be patient with it, man. Just gotta be patient with it. Just be patient. I'm done.